Brian Evan Primary School is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa. For about two years, we've been trying to promote coding with our learners, and we have been introducing this through Purple Mash. In this lesson, we show you one of the activities that the grade sevens were doing, which involves converting between ounces and grams and various other units of measurement. And I hope that you find it interesting. My name is Erin Bradley. I'm one of the teachers at the school. I'm a Gauteng Department of Education teacher. We see these recordings of our coding lessons as a resource to draw upon. It's something we can use and also share with others. We'd love to hear from all other interested parties. Get the activity doing. I see there's rockets is due for today. So, Daniela, let's go on to the start button. And we're going to start metric conversions. Imperial is the units of measurement that is used in America. They talk about gallons, while we will talk about liters. Four and a half says, gallons. Learn how to make a program. Sorry, four and a half liters is equal to, to one Let's click gallon. On it, Daniela. One gallon is four. There and are half twenty-five liters. grams in an ounce. When you click the convert ounces to grams button, set the variable grams based on the variable ounces. So there's a button. Let's bring it in. Drag it in. Automatically, it's got the when click event. So you know that grams is usually the bigger one. So we and would multiply to get is very much bigger, part but divide of the work when we, we do. You get it something smaller. There are 25 grams in an ounce. Okay, so we want to we want to get the ounces. We're going to multiply grams times 25. So let's bring the grams in. Set to and that's it. We're going to go ounces, and we're multiplying. That's multiplication. That forward slash would be division, and you multiply by 25. Good. 25. I think you could just type it in, but it's, it's okay if you want to go with those up arrows and down arrows. Yeah, that's better. Play that, Daniela. Let's just see if it works. And uh, before you just click over there, let's put something in here. So you want to get ounces to grams. Put something in here, a number. Type a number in this input box. This is an input box control. 15, and then I'm just going to click on this. Answers to grams. Good. So 375. So we're, it's working out answers to grams. All right, you're welcome to go on. Okay, you, it's a good idea to watch this video, especially if you're at home. All right, now let's read this. Now make the convert grams to answers. Here we're multiplying, it would be inverse operations. So we're multiplying, what's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So we would divide by 25. So you want to go ahead and do that. Just bring the button in. So when click, grams to answers. Over here is the answer. You want your answer is answers. Okay, so go ahead, answers. And you're going to get... It won't be ounces, it'll be grams. You divide by grams divided by good. Forward slash is correct, 25. Look over here, guys. When you see over that grams divided, it's just the opposite. All right, so let's test it and see whether we're going to get that right. So far, looking good. And before rushing to that, just test with these little buttons and so let's see grams. If type a number in the grams, any number. Ounces to grams, ounces to grams. So type a number in there. Forty-five ounces to grams. Good. Now if we change this one one two five, put another number in there, like a different number in the grams, in the gram part, the gram input box. Type another number, just to test it. Guys, please don't rush to the next challenge, even if you do get it right. Now, remember here, grams to ounces. We want, good, 2.24. Very good. So, we see how that's working perfectly. Do you want to go on? 
Right, so a monkey is trying to create a program to convert from centimeters to inches. But, do, but his program doesn't work. Can you fix it? Now, centimeters is 2.54, if I remember correctly. Oh, they've already got it in there. Have a look. We've got to check if the answer is correct. Convert centimeters to inches. Uh, this is wrong. Look over there. Inches. We want the answer to be inches. So centimeters won't be there. Because centimeters to inches. So centimeters, this would be brilliant. Set to, and that wouldn't be right either. If you want inches, you've got to get your centimeters and divide by. You've got to change that 2.54 to centimeters. You'll get your centimeters and divide it by 2.54. 2.54. And obviously, with what we've got there, you've done it well. In the bottom one, you're going to just have to make a correction there. The answer here would be centimeters. Convert inches to centimeters. So two centimeters going to, when we drive, we're going to some place. We want to get to centimeters. That'll be over there. Centimeters would be over there. Good. Brilliant. And we'll just get the format to kind of replicate that. Set to. Set to. Brilliant. And remember, we're going to use then. Inches multiplied by 2.54. The way you had it just now was it could be 2.54 times inches. Times 2.54, brilliant. And that should work. Uh, just type in different numbers. 32. So we want centimeters. Uh, your answer is correct. Didn't even show the answer. Now, well done. The last activity, make sure that you can make your own. A lot of us have made a mistake in that last activity where it's create your own. A lot of learners have thought, okay, I'll leave that out. But that's the most important activity because you use the knowledge of all the challenges to make your own one. That's what really counts. Good luck with that. I'll go and show more people's work, but this is well done. Right, so here you got liters to gallons. What are they doing? Times 1.6. It must be 1.6. Change that to 1.6. 1. Stop that code. Change that to 1.6. Aiden. And that one must be divided by 1.6. Try that. I would just like to thank you for watching this video. I hope that the video brought some sort of knowledge to your computer coding. The important aspect is to continue practicing as much as possible so that you start to master some of the concepts and be able to understand it more fully. But thank you once again for watching and please do subscribe to our YouTube